Welcome back, good viewer. This is the Skyrider, and this, my friends, is it? This is the final episode of this Let's Play, um, which we will start by running this gauntlet. It's very easy to do if you listen behind me. Eventually, yeah, there we go. You can see these various purple bolts that shoot across that corridor. You just need to run forward. It's not much of a trap system. You just run straight forward. Yes, because beyond that spider room that we were in last time, there's not really much left to go. We have this causeway, and then we're pretty much there, good viewer. A couple of eight beasts to deal with, but there we go. Yeah, this is it, good viewer. This is the finale. This is the last episode of this Let's Play. Um, it's uh, It's been good. I've enjoyed it. You know, this this was my... Oh. Oh, no. He didn't see me. Oh, wait. He did see me, but he didn't see me. He's knocked out now, so that's the important thing. And I'm being nice to you, gentlemen. I'm not throwing your bodies in the lava, which I could easily do. Okay. Well, that was close. Nearly fell victim to that little trap. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's been good. I've enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, I find that... I mean, the reason I sort of LP the, these sorts of PC games is A, because I enjoy them, obviously. B, because I feel they're not done very often. Excuse me. Um, C, because uh, my computer is not the best, and I would love... Trust me, good viewer, there are so many games that I would love to Let's Play on the PC. I've just literally... I've got a list a mile long. I have no shortage of ideas for Let's Plays, I assure you. But... I would just prefer a better system on which to do them. So, my you know my system can handle older games like this, which is part of the reason why I do them. Plus, you know, I feel it's a better idea. You know, if I do a let's play of um, uh, Arkham Asylum, for example, which is one idea I've thought about doing. You know, it's a good idea to do, but the world and his dog have let's played that. You know, so. It wouldn't be a particularly good LP to start off with, hence why I chose Freedom Force to start off with. Um, because it's a game that's not really Let's Play it that much. And indeed, if I'm correct, I don't believe that, with the exception of one, that anyone's really done a, let's, a proper Let's Play of Freedom Force vs. the Third Reich, either. So that will be good. Anyway. Let's just disable that portal and give the Hammers a fighting chance. Indeed. Now, good viewer, this is... this is it. This is the tricky bit. As we learned last time, um, we have to uh, counteract the four elements with their opposites. So as you can see there, you've got the four spheres representing the four elements. Air, fire, water, earth. And to counteract that, we use its opposite. So air to counter earth. Good. Water to counter fire. So if I do this right. Good. Earth to counter air. Got it. And finally, fire to counter water. Alerted them, but there goes the portal, good viewer. And I don't believe there's any other way to get over there. I believe you have to do it from here. And now, good viewer, let's go and win this game. Let's go and do what we came into this place to do. Let's beat Constantine. To out sneak a god, good viewer. So we climb up these vines and get onto these. There he is, good viewer. Now, this is why you want the moss arrows, good viewer. And of course, he doesn't notice because he's a fool like that. We just need to wait here, good viewer. We just need to wait. It's very, very simple, this final boss, good viewer. Like I said, so long as you have those moss arrows, you're fine. Because that... Game burning heat, fences char, blazy sheet, black and tar, man flesh meat, melting gears, dance and leap, man fool's fear come to reap. Call the fire, call the red, Brings thee forth, past not dead. 
I do like the, these little poems that the trickster says at each one of these uh, uh, pedestals. It, uh, they, they all sort of have a theme, you know, obviously they all revolve around a certain element. And each... Here we go, good viewer. Wait for Constantine to complete his ritual. That's all we have to do, good viewer. We just have to wait. Because that, good viewer, is how you do it. It's a very, very simple task, this one. You just grab, you know, fire the few moss arrows into the floor to prevent yourself from being heard, Stone wait for his back to be turned, replace the eye. Pile, it's it's really that simple. That's why I've said in the past that this boss, or this final level is a bit underwhelming, simply because it's that easy to do. Of course, if you do alert him, then he'll kill you. Like, there's no way around it. I'm not sure how long it takes, but he'll definitely kill you. There's no way to hurt him. If he spots you, you're screwed, basically, good viewer. So there is that, but it, it's just so easy to avoid him. Hmm. But as I said, I like the, the poems that this guy said, that the trickster says. Like how they all... ...all have a sort of theme to them. Dark and high, fools he sight. Stay inside, fear the night, call the dark. Call the black, brings him forth, I call it back. Like the last few lines, they're always like, Call the fire, call the red. And then they, he has a like, bring back the old world sort of line. However, open for me. Open to me. Open my way. Open the path. Open for me. Open. Things did not go according to plan. Down goes the trickster with you. We're done. I'll see you in a moment for the finale. Noticed, I just saved the world, yourself included. As we knew you would, as it had to be. Now I remember why I left the Keepers. And I remember why we let you go. What do you want from me? Have you come to congratulate me? Welcome me back to the fold? Very well. I will speak my piece plainly. You have accomplished that which was written, and yes, you've done it well. But there is no place for you with us any longer. Yet you will have a great need of us, and soon. I don't think so. I'm through with heroics, and with your kind as well. You cannot run from life as you did from us, Garrett. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Listen, there is a book that you were not made aware of. I am here to tell you that it would be wise for you to read it now. But you can still read hieroglyphs. I do try to forget, but you keepers leave them everywhere for me. Yes. You have more friends than you know. Tell my friends that I don't need their secret book, or their glyph warnings, or their messengers. Tell them I'm through. Tell them it's over. Tell them Garrett is done. 
I will tell them this. Nothing has changed. All is as it was written. The trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age. Wow. <laughs> wow, good viewer. I just, just wow. I, I love that last cutscene. I love everything about that last cutscene. It's just, it really is beautiful. It works so, so beautifully as an epilogue. Um, just so many beautiful lines in there. I mean, like, one that I could talk forever, but the credits have a limited time. So, uh, just pointing this out, Executive Transvestite and Evil Herbivore. I love these guys put those jokes into the credits. Um, just lines like Artemis says, You cannot run from life as you did from us, Garrett. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Just, I love the writing of this game. And I also love the fact that these guys took the time to, like, do, you know, make these shots and put this into the credits of these of the various game designers dressed up in these costumes. This is this is brilliant. And then, of course, that last monologue from Artemis. My God, it's it's brilliant. I will tell them this: nothing has changed. All is as written. The trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age. That's the... P that's... That. That last line. That very last line, good viewer. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age. As well as being awesome, like, with, with all the music that's going on and everything. These guys, these guys that you're seeing right on screen right now, were so confident, so very confident in their... in the fact that they had made such an awesome game that they all but said we're making a sequel, The Way of the Dawn of the Metal Age, that that's going to be our sequel. That's just, I mean, that's just brilliant. You saw there a uh, few screens back, Dorian Hart, who was, I know for a fact, was involved in the making of Freedom Force. And, like, there are some various other people in this who have crossed over from Freedom Force and also, also in that. I'm not sure how exactly. I know Ken Levine was very heavily involved in this, and I believe he came up with the original concept of the Maybe I'm wrong in saying that. Uh, but I believe I saw that in the credits somewhere. Have a look to see if I'm correct or not. But you know, <laughs> see, it shows that they're that these people know what they're doing. Um, yes. Uh, uh, thank you, good viewer, uh, for for everything. Uh, as I said in my at the end of my Freedom Force Let's Play, thank you for your your viewings. Yeah, there we go. Initial design, and story concept, Ken Levine. Um, thank you for everything. Your views, your comments, your subscriptions, your likings, all this good stuff. Please continue to do that. It really helps me and all Let's Plays out. So please please continue to do that. And I will make the same promise I made at the end of Freedom Force, good viewer, in that I promise you I will be let's playing the sequels to this game, The Metal Age and, the D and Thief Deadly Shadows. I will definitely be doing that. I just have to mention briefly, Mr. Stephen Russell, I salute you, sir. This game would not be the same without you. All the voice actors, of course, are great, but the fact that this guy does such an awesome job of voicing Garrett, Thief would not be Thief without Garrett. And the credits are running away from me, good viewer, so I will bid you farewell. Thank you as always, my friends. And I will see you for my next LP on the PC, which I know what it's going to be. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Skyrider. And until next time, farewell until we meet again. <laughs>